What's up? Before this video starts, please leave a like to help my video along. Now, on with the show. The situation is very confused. How is it confused? I see the prisoners escaping, running towards the gates, which seem to have blown open by sorcery or sabotage. Archer, stand down! Sir? We're not wasting good arrows on those people. They've served their purpose. They're damned. They're damned well out of my hair. Mordor can take the whole stinking lot of them. And send my compliments to the captain of the gates. I suppose he sent me this lockpick as some sort of joke. The last place we want to be is the one place we are doomed to stay. And the outcasts fled into it to escape Gondor. And it is here that the Dark Lord will gather his armies like pieces on a game board. Unless we stop him. These are Ithildin, Starmoon, forged of Mithril. They hold memories of the ancient past. The knowledge within may be fair or ill. Well, I hope you're right. They say the enemy is weak on the left, and that the dwarves will tear through them there. Maybe then we can leave these filthy marshes and go home. Yesterday, the enemy made a call for parley. We saw the emissary's party ride out, a terrible black figure atop a black horse, and flanked by two huge men, similarly clad in black. They were not allowed to ride among our lines. Amid suspicion, they would scout our disposition and report back to their vile master. Instead, a small group of elves and men rode out to meet him. We could not hear what was said, but there will be no peace. Around the camp there are whispers. They say the emissary's mouth blackened and burned with Sauron's words, and that saying them caused the emissary great pain. He promised only slavery and toil, and I am compelled to believe it. I cannot help but think we will never make it into Mordor. Only death awaits us here. Deerhile said that he saw ghosts on the dead marshes. I thought he just saw his own fear. The sleepless dead, the shadow men, the dead ones. Mordor calls to them all. Big child, and I was stopped to collapse after just. The towers will be up soon. Don't know why we're calling them the teeth. They should be called the jaw. Because they'll be hitting us there. Indeed. Right in the jaw and as often as they can. That's a grim outlook, brother. We'll be able to see into Mordor here. And fight if necessary. Ten hours of heavy labor. Steer Hyle was about to take the oath. To become a ranger. He did not deserve such an evil end. Sound it out now. Fear no. Fear no. Why must you put me through this, Hergon? There's no one to blame but yourself. You begged me to teach you the words in my books. I regret that now. What use is the page here in Mordor? Here, look at this. It's a note for you. My love. Be my knife? Try again. Life? Or wife? Wife? Yes, Hagon. I am yours. 
brought up in the fire. Until I threw that. We've given the outcast a chance to escape Mordor, to reach the safety of Gondor. And we can draw the eye of our enemy. As long as we can hold his gaze, we can buy time for Middle Earth. The first messengers have rolled into camp. They're reporting few casualties. We've struck a mighty blow against the forces of Mordor aligned against us. Let it be so, and not fool's idle chatter. Hagedorn, what news? <laughs> they say we've won a monumental victory! You'll not be needing all that Athelis you've been grinding, my friend. Few need healing on this day, and more's the wonder. They say the Golden King has brought back a prize. Sauron himself! They're in the heavy chains! I have lived half my life on the boundary of Mordor, thinking it was dead. Never knowing the stories it held. The Land of Shadow is awakening from a long slumber. It has many stories yet to tell us. Are you a Thelus or Hithlus? Find anything in this almanac? Uh, well, only one way to be sure. Cheers. And now I wait. This will either cure my fever, or I'll be dead in seconds. It shan't do either. You'll need to ground it up for its healing properties. You, the outcast woman. I'm Erin. I never got to thank you, Ranger. There are but few of your kind on the Black Gate. Duty clouds kindness in these parts. That's why I deserted. I'm here, gone. I promised you all if we would one day travel the Anduin. When Deer Hile was grown, we would go together. And we would behold the pillars of the kings. I hope that Hirgon's people can escape. I do not know where you shall see your family again. The doom of man is beyond the vision of the elves. We'll go tonight. No more being bossed around by that damned Urukai. We'll sneak into the barracks and bleed that spark dry. He won't be so high and mighty when he's dead, and we'll run the place. You and me. All's for us. <laughs> Face me? Morgrog? We won't be going angry. That's a fact. This grog they have is a harsh but effective medicine. These Uruk truly are twisted reflections of my kin. Sarazon. He's been sold a bill of goods, all right. And what do we get? More war! More taxes! Ha! Human sacrifice in the town square! You can hear the screams all day and all night, and we're made to worship this, this hideous thing. The great tree kindling. The king's ears filled with rubbish from his, his advisor. The great chain wonder Sauron, now princely Sauron. Island Hell is right. Numenor is ruined, and the boats can't take us away from this charnel house fast enough. Morgoth, the first Dark Lord of Middle-earth. The great enemy. Sauron was his servant, and was loyal to the end and beyond. He's in jail for a reason. For saying what we're all thinking. You want to live forever? Plow in this field? The elves lord it over us. 
Don't they just? Sauron's right. We can live without pain, without growing old. And you want to go to war to make that happen? I want the king to listen to good ideas. Well, then, he should have nothing to do with Sauron. Fighting with the elves is not a bad idea. It's the worst idea imaginable. No blood of Numenor is in my veins. I am a Northman, an exile. Alice never let me forget that, and Yorith never cared. To the Eldar, all men are the followers. Fleeting visitors who soon pass beyond the circles of the world. You've led me into your homes. You've led me into your lives. And now you bestow upon me your greatest honor. Though I come from the Black Gate, though I was once known to you as the enemy, I turn my back on Gondor. You people, you outcasts as you've been named, are people of honor, people of strength. I have found love within your tribe, but for your tribe as well. And you have taught me of a life I thirsted for, but never knew existed. Now it is my time to teach you. I will impart to you all my knowledge of war. And the orcs push us, but we will find strength and push back. And this land will be ours! If we could have trusted each other, maybe Hirgon would not have needed to desert us. Maybe together, we would have been ready when Sauron returned. Even without the fell influence of the Dark Lord, mankind shall never know the end of war. All right, Worms. Welcome to the Black Gate. You'll be building our watchtowers for us. Hard work will be rewarded. Sir. Do you mean hard work will be rewarded with a shorter sentence? The traitors, the lot of them, murderers and thieves. When I say reward, I mean I won't throw you to the categories. These men are not soldiers. They are not ready to die. All things that live must die. Man alone faces the mystery of what is beyond death. My dear Hirgon, I hide outside the camp and pray they do not find me. They are taking anyone they find into slavery. If only you were here. But I know you must fight the Uruks, or there will be no chance any of us will ever be free. I fear I will never see you again, if they find me. I do not know how long I can survive. Your beloved wife, Erin. Carrick Angren. The iron jaws clamped hard on the people trapped here. The Dark Lord in all his forms desires sheer domination. Where'd you get off to, child? I found this, Daddy. This kind of rock is very rare. It comes from the volcano. There. Now. Doom is a foul place, angry and mean. It will explode when Sauron is near and plotting, spitting all manner of foulness into the air. Smoke and dust and rocks that burn the ground. It does this as a warning. I will not stay silent for long. Sort of like your mother. Don't tell your mother, is it? So this rock is... It is a rock, nothing more. And you needn't be afraid of a rock or doom which is silent to this very day. And sweetie, if you need a lesson from all this, why, well, here's a fine one. Even a foul place like that volcano can produce beautiful things. There has been no sign of fire on Mount Doom for generations. I watched Gilgala die on the slopes of Oladruin, burned to death by the heat of Sauron. 
This is where the storm will gather that will engulf the world of men. Remember me, filth. Ha! What the? Change of plans, lads. I'm in charge. We're gonna tear the black hand up. Don't you forget about me! Oh yeah, right. My, uh, memory's not that good. How can man hope to stand against these Uruk? They are filled with such pure hate. We will teach them the meaning of fear, and in that we will give hope to Middle-earth. Stop! Do not move! By order of Gondor, trespassing on the Moranon is punishable by death! Ugh. Do not... A woman? The outcasts now send women alone to steal from us. Do your worst, Ranger, but I will fight. You were but skin and bones. I can still fight. Gather what you can and run. Quickly, before the others see you. Should be led to starve. Quickly now. Go. Go! These outcasts were strong to last in Mordor. To survive this wasteland while we occupied the gate. Yet they are not strong enough to survive the return of the Black Hand. Their only hope lies beyond the Mountains of Shadow. So brave now, are you? Hold him, boys. Get your filthy hands off me! It's simple, see. Do unto others quicker and harder than they do unto you. But at least you tried. Next time, try harder. This is going to hurt a lot. But you'll learn who's in charge. No! Not an old Scorty! Anything but old Scorty! Feast on their flesh! These Uruk have a twisted concept of justice. It is not justice. It is the constant weeding out of the weak in favor of the strong. See? And they're digging up everything in Udun. The thing tears the land up. Then the slaves pick through everything. Clay and mud go to the kilns. If they find metal, that goes to the forges. Anything they can use, they take back. And if they find an old weapon or piece of armor, they hand it off to the Urukai, the brigands. Maybe to study, maybe to wear. I don't know. They're on the move, for sure. We must know what is happening in Mordor. We have other eyes there, but yours are sharp. You serve us well. You will return there and report back. The Council must not learn of your actions. Do not get caught. For years, we stood on top of the Black Gate, looking into Mordor, seeing nothing. We were asleep. A murderous rhythm of the Dark Lord's war machines will awaken all. We must break them. Here's what I saw. I told you the orcs are digging everywhere. Well. They dug huge caves into the ground in the side of the hills and into the mountains where they do their work. Some of it's forges, and they got blacksmiths making armor and all kinds of weapons. They save on metal by making their armor for the front only. Like they're not planning on retreating anymore. Oh, and they got these huge pits too. Bigger than I've ever seen. They pull the new orcs, maybe a hundred or so a day. Some of them are those Urukai. You can tell them right away. 
because they've got a head or so on other rocks. They come out fighting and immediately start bossing everyone else around. No one's the wiser about me spying. But don't send no more clothes. The other orcs might get suspicious. They are tough and they're not stupid. We underestimated our enemies. They are forged for one purpose. To destroy the world of men. are doomed. No, they are merely going to die. It is we that are doomed. The north collapses upon us. The Tower of Nightmare builds in Nornan. The Nameless One returns. Mother, take this. <laughs> Thank you, my child. These visions corrode you. And what medicine we still have is fast done away. My visions are the hope of Nuanen. If I must sacrifice myself for my people, so, so be it. What happened in the Grey Mountains, Mother? What happened, Lothario? <laughs> I left with the strength we need. Information can be dangerous. The difference between poison and medicine is often in the dose. You and it all got better things to do. his brother. Hunter and hunted. Death takes them all. Funny thing that. They told us their names plenty of times, but we all forgot. To a man, we forgot. It was like they didn't want us remembering. After a while, they were just the two Istari, and sometimes the big one and the little one. Can't say how I can't remember. I remember the bigger one telling us stories of a goblin city, of a man who could turn himself into a bear, of the time when, well, I guess it didn't matter too much to him that some of his stories needed some cleaning up or would scare a dead man out of his grave. When the bigger one left, he took his cane, but he left a walking stick behind with all these little notches cut into it. 
He was keeping track of something for sure. These wizards, the Istari, what do you know of them? Is their power greater than yours? I have not yet been tested against them. Saruman the White is the leader of the White Council. His knowledge of the Rings of Power is deep. Other forces in Mordor besides ourselves and Sauron. Yes, these are the spies of Kurunir. I speak with the mouth of Sauron, the second dark lord of this Middle Earth. Our will is his will. Mordor is ours and fairly won. You will take this message from Sauron back to your spider queen, Shelob, the last daughter of Ungoliant. Your eggs will not be allowed to hatch in Mordor. Your children will no longer prey on the Morgul flies. You will depart this realm, abandon your nests in none, Ungol. You have grown fat on our generosity. We have fed you as we would a pet, allowed you to run unfettered. This ends now. Our union as it was has ended. Our will is irresistible. We have spoken. Every creature here seems to live to slaughter every other. And every one of them will learn to fear us above all. The damn flies seem to be following me. I can't hardly go nowhere without them buzzing around. I was going to scout Tower Bond, the slave city. The Orcs got a prison there, and enough people in chains to run the mines and the mills and make the city go. But there it was. One stinking fly. I could hear it buzzing, but couldn't see it or squash it. Thing was following me, I swear. I was out on a skip, in the middle of the Sea of Nurn, and the fly was coming along for a ride, like it knew. Following me like all the time. I can't get the buzzing and humming to stop. It don't matter whether I'm sleeping or eating or squatting. I can hear them. They're in my damn head. Make a stop. that is coming will engulf all of Middle-earth. Many powers are moving their pieces into place. Here, take this. I want someone watching over Queen Marwyn at all times. I am afraid she may do harm to herself. Now go. Mother, what is happening to you? Is this gift worth the price you are paying? The end of darkness is worth whatever price. 
Such is the spirit of Nern and Netharia. Nern needs you, Mother. These visions do not bring us enough benefit to befit your loss. But they do, my child. I have seen a vision of the Ringmaker, Keller Brimboy himself. It is through him alone that Nuanan may be saved. This land is rich and green, but there is a sickness on it. These waters are bitter, and the creatures within them foul. But they will feed Sauron's war machine. And we get nothing but a lot of noise from the bomb. Ah, it's never good news. Yeah, I saw two and he didn't. All right, you stick and rot. Shut your guns. Shut it. Got some terrible news here. Terrible. Once again, the filthy humans sided with the dwarves who had help from those sightabonious bastards, the elves, who were rescued by me. And I am not ready to shut the damn giant eagles to slaughter thousands of our brethren in what we should all be calling the battle to unfairly gang up on the orcs. Our lands get invaded, our chieftains killed. And our people murdered. Where does it end? Well, I tell you, it ends here. And it ends right now. They can't stop the march of progress. They can't stop us. These Uruk live for battle. And we shall not disappoint them. It's good! A coin of the realm! Sure, but it's the coin of Gondor's realm. If you don't want it... I didn't say that, Cap. But how about a few less of these and a little more of that elvish cloth you brought over from Eregion? I, I think we can do that. Wealth will not save Gondor. Uruk do not care for trinkets. Sauron will use gold to buy allies among the kingdoms of men. Who's this now? Someone had been bandit. Named Forlun or Gorfab or something. He was screaming for his wife. <laughs> the boys laid into him a bit. More in a bit. He dead? Nah. The boys know the big man powerful living and wants a word. He said that Don might know where his thief powers are hiding. Strip him down. Take the ring, too, and give it to the boss. He likes that stuff. And when he wakes up... Is there nothing these Uruk will not desecrate? For them, beauty exists only to be destroyed.
There are stories and fates more bitter than ours within Mordor. Those who gave in to despair, who abandoned all hope of redemption. That is not our fate. The orcs are making things mighty difficult. This might be my last one in a long while. My wife and I, we need to be elsewhere. The lockbox. Open it. Now. Why? These are hard times. And I need to know you can pay. Up front. Well, now. That's hardly enough for both. We've always... That's all I have. Please, my wife. Should have saved more. Now, room for one on the boat. You decide. There are still some paths open out of Mordor. The more we can set Mordor to flame, the more people will reach freedom. All right. Hold still. I'm afraid to say it's going to... It's going to hurt. I've done all I can. We've called for one of your people, but I don't... In the meantime, why don't you tell me about that? The medallion you're holding. You just want to distract me. Very well. These are the two trees of Valinor. A symbol of the endless cycle. Life, death, and rebirth. Come closer, and I will tell you their tale. We must... I fear we must distract ourselves from the grim happenings of this day. There will be no medals for us, Celebrimbor. No honor or glory. Let those who come after take the glory. We must keep hope alive long enough for them to have that chance. Sorry. His wound was too great. I had thought... You stayed with him. It is enough. Here. He'll probably want you to have it. It's broken, but... No, human. You keep it. These are ancient things, those trees. We watch them wither and die with the cold. But always, they return. We see strength in their roots, and hope as they stretch into the light. Let this token remind you of the elf you tried to save. Of the bond between your people and mine. We are not the first alliance of men and elves to challenge Sauron within Mordor. No, but we shall be the last. In victory or defeat, my people will diminish. I can't imagine which is worse. And we're thin on the ground here. Two regiments worth called back home. Or maybe a dozen more down with the sweats. Maybe even more than that. And I don't think we can hide it anymore, no matter how they change up the patrols. The orcs may have already smelt it out, too. They're getting uppity in Mordor. Here, look at this. Uh, that's quite a blade. Where'd you get it? Off an orc scout. I expect he won't need it anymore. You keep it. That is the spirit of Mordor. The knife in the back. They do our work for us. They are united in their hatred of man, and dominated by the will of their master. Isn't it lovely, dear? The dwarves made this. You've been drinking. You smell like a mule who's gotten into the rock gut. 
It's a fine anniversary present. And look at the craftsmanship. Our anniversary was last week. It was brought in from the sea. You mean you won this at the tavern? My husband. Get in the house. The rivers of this sea reach beyond the Ethel Duoth. If the tribesmen can escape, they could travel north to Minas Ethel, the Tower of the Moon. Careful with the pouch, Jordan. It almost went in the fire. Wow, that old thing. Time to get rid of that rag. It barely keeps the pipe weed dry. It is a rag, brother. And I'll keep this souvenir from our first hunt till it turns to dust. Remember us tracking that great spider through Mirkwood nearly 60 years ago? Then drawing her out using live bait. Yes, but why do I always have to be the bait? You have a quality. You make things want to kill you. It's a gift, really. But Torvin, this was your first kill. Ours together is what made you a hunter. And I'll treasure it always, brother. I caught Deer Hire puffing on that pipe weed once. He raided the garrison pantry and consumed a week's worth of field rations. Human minds and appetites are a mystery to my people. Tribesmen are desperate. They will do anything to resist the Uruks. I fear Lithariel will never surrender. Her honor will doom them all. There! It's finished! A true masterwork! What a fine carving! The front, I etched us killing this here Moomark. And the back, our next prize, the mighty Krog. A beast like that is a hunter's legacy. Sh show me the carving. <laughs> Isn't it magnificent? Such detail. Look at me striking the mighty beast. Blood everywhere. And why am I etched running away from the Moomark in terror? Artistic license, Brother Torvin. If you want to be the hero, I suggest next time you make the cut. This Torvin does not seem to know his limitations. He is not one to wait for his fate to come to him. He rushes to meet it. By that time, we've grown used to seeing. But the shorter one had grown cold, distant. He could read the leaves, the lines in the man's hand, the bumps on his head. He could see, you know? And I guess it got to him. The knowing. They'd go off together. And you could tell when they met up with the orcs, the sky would darken. And there would be hail, or rain, or winds that shook the trees. And then, sure enough, Everything would clear. They never spoke about any of that. Although we'd always want to know. Best not, they'd say. The two left without saying a word. Only it was funny lying. Because the shorter fellow left behind all his maps and the odd little board he used to see into the future. Traveling light, maybe. Or maybe... I don't know. 
Maybe you thought he'd have no more use for it. A hundred Uru, just because they were too slow. Another mystery. Mordor is full of secrets. The Order of Estari. Messengers sent to contest the will of Sauron. These two went east long ago and were never seen again. She don't remember whose pet she is. It might be time for a reminder. These spiders are crawling out of the walls. They have an evil look. The children of Ungoliant. They devour light in their endless hunger. Neither seemed to notice. I heard them say they were hunting in the darkness. Damned if I know if they found it. But I guess those fellows can find trouble when they're looking for it. Them caves nearby. I laughed at Deer Hyle when he talked of wizards, necromancers, and magic. I told him to stop being a child. As children, you are closest to the Eldar. When grown, you have no understanding of immortality. Keep sharpening. You've got to hone your axe until its edge can split one of your beard hairs in two. Oh, it's sharp enough to kill a growl. Now pass me the pipe. Sharp enough ain't what the hunt's about, little brother. You've got to learn to respect the hunt. A keen blade for a clean kill. Without respect for the beast, who are no better than the orcs. Now, let's give her a taste. For Durin, give a dwarf fair warning when you yank hairs from his beard. Look at this, Torvin. <laughs> Split the hair in two. There's hope for you yet. That dwarf knows no fear. I don't know if he's brave or stupid. Or both. He has no fear of death, but there are many worse things than death waiting in Mordor. Though my power is diminished, it is not wholly spent. We will not abandon Middle-earth and depart into the West until the Betrayer and all his works are undone. What are these Towers of Silver? They are lights to guide us in the Land of Shadow, where all other lights may fail. Pale reflections of the light of the two trees, and memories of a lost kingdom. Who are you, Wraith? What do you want with me? If I have a name, I do not remember it. The Black Hand called to me from across the void, and I came. I do not understand what has happened to me, but I will use any weapon that is placed in my hand. There is nothing our enemy will not use to achieve his victory. Only in ruthlessness can we hope to match him. You worked with Sauron. 
You forged the rings of power at his side. Our motives were the same. To heal a land wounded by war. My weakness was to be seduced by evil that seemed fair. He is the master of lies. Queen Marwyn was possessed. That wizard was using her to get to you. Using her to build an army within Mordor. Sauron and Saruman both pursue the power of the Ringmaker. There can be only one Lord of the Rings.